Morning Air 10. I hope everyone is well and safe. If you've been paying attention to the media, you will know that the Prime Minister made an announcement on Sunday about schools. This was followed on Monday with a bit more detail. Year 10 were specifically mentioned. Mr Hadley has sent a letter to parents telling them what is important information. He says in his letter, Following the Prime Minister's announcement on Sunday that secondary schools will not fully open for the remainder of, the, of this academic year, we have received further clarification from the DfE that secondary schools should, from the week commencing the 1st of June 2020 at the earliest, offer some face-to-face -face support to supplement the education of Year 10 and 12 students alongside the full-time provision they are offering to priority groups. Whilst it is pleasing that we have been given the go-ahead to expand the on-site provision to a limited extent because of the importance of preparing older students for next year's exams, the safety of our students and staff is our number one priority. With this in mind, we will use the detailed government guidance to begin the process of carefully planning the practicalities of this face-to-face -face support. We will write to you with a detailed description of our approach before we begin expanding the provision so that you can be assured that our provision is COVID secure. So what does this mean exactly for Year 10? Well, like all schools, we don't know. But there are two certainties. It will involve some attendance at school for most Year 10s. And importantly, online learning is still central to our government policy. I can't give details, as like all schools, we are working this out. But I want you to reflect on why Year 10 was given special mention by the government. The main reason is that now Year 10 are the next exam year group. All around the country, schools are assessing the Year 11 students for their GCSEs. This process will end soon, effectively leaving the current Year 10, you, as the next GCSE cohort. Think about this. We don't want to worry you or create anxiety, but the reality is, as it is for hundreds of thousands of pupils around the UK, that they are now effectively in year 11. GCSEs are planned for next year. There may be allowances for time lost. There may not be. We simply do not know. There is one certainty though. The harder you work, the better the end result. This week, 85% of pupils submitted work on Show My Homework in year 10. Not everyone submitted all the work and some for a variety of reasons did not submit any. Some have good reasons for this, others do not. Education has always been about encouraging independent learning. The more a person learns independently, the more successful they are in education. This current situation will probably produce the most resilient and independent learners in a generation. The skills of being able to work in a virtual world outside a classroom are lifelong skills that will ben benefit you, not just in your exams, but for the world outside. Make sure you're able to say at the end of this, I achieved in the hardest of circumstances. I didn't give up. I worked hard, did my best. So if you are having tech problems, please get in touch with your tutor or send an email to the office. If you're having problems with the work, get in touch with your teachers. So it's time for the weekly shout outs. And I want to spend a special shout out to, la to the pupils last week who overcame all obstacles and submitted 100% of their work. That's Fatma in S, Aisha in V, Naima in V, Laura in A, Siham in T, and Samia in H. A big virtual applause to those people. next list I'm happy to say is a long one it is people who are getting close to 100% and I'm glad to say that there's a lot in the 90% and 80% too it's quite a long list so listen out for your name that is Aob in 10e Muhammad in R Nafisa in T Oli in T Riaz Abjur Nisa Ayub Taru Moraine Lawrence Mitchell NY Tunjay 
Nyla, Lennon, Elise, Maha, Sabrina, Aurelian, Tafara, Hassan, Zainab, Casey, Album, Anissa, Mohammedan H, Manha, Monha, Lee, Agnesa, as well as Abdul in H, Karisha, Zara, Jessica, Mergam, Janae, Grace, Mahanur, Katie, Sandra, Laura, Rog, Zion, Keon, Tiffany, Akram, Kiaran, Rosanna, Sadiq, and Morgan. Okay, really great to see so many people taking charge of their learning. Okay, see you all soon, maybe. Take care and stay safe. And a big applause again.